In this video, I want to talk about the if function as well as the and and the or function. I have three practical examples because the way we can see in a practical way how can we use the if function and also the and and the or function append to the if function. Let's start with the if function, this basic Excel function that can help us a lot on a daily basis to automate tasks. So let's say in this first example, I have a grocery list with a lot of items that I need to purchase. And also I have the quantities for all those items. Let's say the first thing that I want to check is if there is or not a milk in this list. Of course, there is milk right here, but let's say I have a large data set. This list is just large with a thousand rows. Uh, maybe it's not a good idea to manually check the items. So I can use the if function to help me. So let's say check and then equal sign if function. I can double click in this function one, two to select the function. And then the first argument that I have is the logical test. And what I want to do here is I want to check if the first item and then the second one and then the third one and on and on are equal to mu. And I can neither manually input the name of the item such as open quotations, tomatoes, close quotations, in between quotations, right? Or I can dynamically click in the first cell where I have the name of the item because when I drag the formula down, I can take all the items with uh, the drag down, let's say. So let's just stick with the second solution. Click over the cell. And if this item that I selected is equal to, equal to, in between quotations, milk, I want to input comma, so if it's true, I want to have as return the word true, for example, the statement. If it's not true, comma, else, I want to input false as result. Close parentheses and then enter. Okay, we got false as the first result because, of course, tomatoes is not equal to milk. But let's bring this formula down. At, uh, you just need to click at the bottom right corner of the cell. Click, hold, and drag down, okay? Uh, now we can see that I have only one true because I have only one row that corresponding to the milk item. And of course, we can also change the item. We can also change the value if it's true or if it's false. But let's move on here to another example now using the quantities. I want to check where I have quantities that are less than or equal to six, for example. Check, enter, equal sign, if again, double click, one, two. The logical test now is going to be using the quantity if this quantity right here is less than six so pay attention to the sign that i'm using less than however if you also want to include the number itself let's say six is equal to six it's not less than six so if you want to also include the number six itself you can append immediately after the less than sign the equals sign so now we have less than or equal to the number six comma if it's true i want to in between quotations input less than six close quotations and then comma uh, if it's not true i want to input just the false statement and then close parentheses and then enter so as we could see here whenever i want to customize the result true or false i can do whatever i want to do in between quotations, you just need to input the text that you want to use, and that's it. Let me at the right corner of the cell, click, hold, and drag down to make sure we can call this function out. Now I have false for all the quantities that are greater than the number six. However, if it's equal to or less than six, I'm uh, gonna have here as the result less than six but let's move on now to another example because i think we already understand how to use the if function in the second example i have a inventory list where i need to check the quantities below 10 units so i have items shelf location quantity and some jones notes right here so let's say the first product it has one unit in stock so of course i need to purchase this product because it is less than one is less than 10. Of course, I need to buy this product. However, if I go to the second row, I have 51 unities in stock. 
considering the criteria that is 10 units, I don't need to buy this product. However, I have here a Jones note telling me to buy this product. But why is that? Because maybe John is seeing that the product B is selling a lot. So maybe John is trying to avoid a shortage of the product B. So he wants to make sure we always have the product B in the inventory. So I need to consider those two columns to buy or to not buy the product. And knowing that we can use the OR function with the IF function. Because if the quantity is less than 10 units or the Jones node is equal to buy, I need to buy the product or one or another needs to be true. So let's input here this statement. Uh, check, enter, equal sign, if function again, double click, one, two. And as we can immediately see, the logical test, the allowance is just one logical test. We can only check for one thing. But here I have two different criteria. So how can I do it? I can append right here the or function or and then double click in this function one two okay now we can have many different logical tests or as many as we need to let's start with the first logical test that is to purchase more units for a product the quantity needs to be below 10 units or less than 10 units trauma or the jones notes needs to be equal to by exclamation uh, it's important to use here the equal sign and then code and uncode the criteria that you need to input right here. Code, uncode. That's it. The two conditions that I need are already within the OR function. So I can close parentheses and move on to the second argument. That is the value if it's true. Uh, it's important to use the comma. Okay. Value if it's true. If it's true, I need to buy the product. So open quotations, buy it, for example. Close quotations, John, if it's not true, I don't need to buy the product. So open quotations, do not buy. Okay, close quotations, close parentheses, and then enter. Buy it as the first result. I don't know if it's correct, we're gonna check later. But first, at the bottom right corner of the cell, hold and drag down. Let's manually check a couple of rows just to see if what we did is correct. So buy it and buy it as the first two rows. The first one, of course, we need to buy because one unit. And uh, the second row, we need to buy. I don't know, 51 units, don't need to buy. However, Jones input here a buy note. So, of course, we need to buy this product. If we move on to another one, let's just take randomly this row. Buy it, of course, because four is less than 10. If we go to this row right here, 25 is a larger number than 10. However, we have buy as the Jones note. So, of course, we need to buy it. Yeah, that's it. So it's correct. Now I know all the products that I need to buy and all the products that I do not need to buy. We can move on now to a second example because we already know how to use the if function as well as the if function with the or function. However, now it's time to use the if function coupled with the and function. I have again a inventory list, but this time with a different problem. Purchase if the quantity is less than 300 and the product has origins other than USA. So let's understand first what you need to do. Of course, we have this criteria right here, uh, but let's manually check the first rows just to understand what we need to do. I have the items, the shelf location is not important, but we have the quantity that is indeed very important and also the RNG that again is also important. If I consider the first product, 120 units, in the inventory maybe i need to buy this product because 120 is different than 300 so of course i need to buy this product however the origin is usa so i don't need to buy this product so i need to check both of those criteria quantity and the orange needs to match with my need let's move on to the third row 209 oh maybe maybe we need to buy this product because 209 is less than 300 and uh, the RNG is Japan. So yeah, we need to buy this product because the region is different than USA, it's Japan. Well, let's transform it into a if statement. Equal sign, if function, double click, one, two. And as we learned before, 
the problem with the if function is the allowance of only one logical test. And here we have two, the quantity and the orange. So how can I do it? The and function. I need to use here the and function because both of those criteria needs to be true at the same time. The quantity and the orange needs to be true at the same time. Double click in the end function one two. The first logical test can be either the origin or the quantity. It doesn't matter. So let's start with the orange just to reverse the order. USA right here, the, the first origin. So if the origin is different than USA, but how can I input different than right here? I can use the less than sign coupled with the greater than sign. Different, different. This is different. Okay. So if the origin is different than in between quotations USA, uh, it's because the criteria is true. The second criteria is trauma. I want to check the quantity if it's less than 300. And that's it. The two conditions that I have are already done. Close parentheses, trauma. And if all those conditions are true at the same time, okay, this is why we are using the AND function. I want to have as return the value if it's true in between quotations by it, for example, close quotations. Trauma, however, if it's not true, I want to retrieve the false statement. And then close parentheses. Enter. Okay, the first one you got false, it's correct. Let's look at the bottom right corner of the cell, hold and drag down. And we can see all the items that we need to buy and all the items that we do not need to buy. And this is how we can use the if statement coupled with the and and also the or function. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know. Comment down below. And I see you tomorrow as every day has a new video. I see you there.